Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well and having a great day. So today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I am packing and taking away for a UK staycation. We are going away this weekend. We're going for four nights, so Friday to Monday. And I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I'm packing today. We are staying in a caravan. It's about an hour and a half from our house, so it's not too far, um, but we're still going to need quite a few bits. I've got myself and my three daughters, two teenagers and one toddler. I'm going to be sharing with you everything that we are going to need to stay in the caravan. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I will be vlogging this weekend, a little staycation. So if that's something you'd like to see, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll get on with today's video. So I'll start off with Elsie's. Elsie is three, nearly four. So these are the bits that I'm going to be taking for her. I like to lay everything out on the bed so I've got lots and lots of space and I can see what I'm doing and I like to put everything in outfits instead of loads of random clothes so I know that she's got everything she's going to need so I also like to use packing cubes these are a godsend so I get these off Amazon and I think you can get them on eBay and they are super super cheap they come in a pack of like five this is the biggest one it comes with um, I've got a few different colors so each of the girls will have a different color and once all their clothes are in there um, they know like all their stuff's contained and they know whose is whose and when we get to the caravan they can just take this out and pop it in like their rooms so that's a great tip I will really highly highly recommend investing not even investing because they're super cheap but getting yourself some packing cubes because like I said they are absolutely brilliant so I'll show you the bits that I'm taking for Elsie I also like to get her travel outfit ready so we are traveling by train it's about an hour and 20 minutes um, to where we need to go so I've just got her something super comfy and easy to wear so some leggings a t-shirt a little sweatshirt and some trainers so that's perfect for traveling so I like to have that laid out with all her underwear hair bows everything so I know like come Friday morning I'm not rushing around trying to find her something to wear just know it's all ready and then I also like to pack her raincoat we might actually take that with us on the train because we are in the UK and it is June, but it's absolutely freezing at the minute and rainy. So we don't know what the weather's going to be like. So always have to pack a raincoat when we're staying on a UK break. I have packed two pairs of pyjamas for her. These are just little shorts and t-shirt ones and then a long sleeve and trouser pair. Because like I said, weather in England is very unpredictable. I don't know if it's going to be warm or cold in the caravan. So that will cover her for all weathers. I've packed two different swimwears. This is just a basic little swimming costume. And then this is a UV protective suit. So one of the like longer leg ones with the arms. We are going to go to the beach if it's nice. And then they've also got swimming pools where we're saying we're staying on like a holiday park resort. So packed her two different swimwears for that. This is her traveling home outfit. So that's all ready to go. I've got two cardigans. That should be plenty. Like I said, we're only going for four days and it should be hopefully nice. As like I said, it is June. So fingers crossed for some sunshine. Over here, I've got two day outfits. So one for Saturday, one for Sunday, and then two evening outfits. One for Saturday, one for Sunday. Where are we going? They have like a little clubhouse and they have some evening entertainment and little shows and things for the kids. So I like to dress up a little bit in the evenings as we are on holiday as well. So got two little dressier outfits for the evening and then I've just packed a spare pair of dungarees and a t-shirt just in case it is a bit colder or she has some accidents or spills then we've got a little spare outfit um over here I've got her shoes so I'm taking one pair of little sparkly sandals which she can wear day and night and then these little swim beach shoes these are really great for going in the sea uh, where we're going it's a like shingly pebbly beach so these are perfect she can run on the beach go in the sea and not worry about her feet hurting or anything like that got her sunglasses and then her hair bows to match every outfit I've just put all her little underwear in this pouch what I like to do is put um, underwear for each outfit on the outfit so I know I've got one for every outfit and then I put a few spare so popped all those in that little pouch these are one of the pouches that comes with the packing cubes so I've put them in there and then she's just got her little bubble bath and shampoo which are probably quite big but they're better than taking like her massive ones that we've got in the bathroom so we've got those so that's everything clothes kind of wise that I'm packing for Elsie
that's everything in the packing cube it all fit absolutely perfect even got her shoes in there accessories and her underwear and then her little like toiletries i'll just pop in the big toiletry bag that we're taking as a family one so now i'm going to show you the bits that we're taking for entertainment i'll show you the toiletry bits and just the ever little bits that we are going to need so these are some of the little bits that we're taking with us for inside the caravan we will be having like lots of days out and doing lots of things but i like to pack a few bits when the girls are like bored in the evening not bored but you know when they're like hanging around or wait for someone else to get ready i just like to have stuff to entertain them so i picked one of these up for elsie it's a little mosaic kit there's also little foam sticker things that she can stick on she has a few of these and loves them so that should keep her quiet and happy for a while i've packed some glow sticks for the evening entertainment you get 20 in here these are just from the pound shop so i picked up those and then i've also packed double uno and then this dinky dipsticks game these are great because they're really small they fit really nice in the suitcase and we will enjoy playing them so picked up those and you can also take them out and about with you so we've got those three and then i've just packed elsie's little uh swim goggles not sure if she want to wear them but it's good to have with us and they're really light to put in the case i'm also taking which is a little bit random some tea bags some hot chocolate and some weetabix for elsie also elsie's little fork so i know that the caravan does come with like cutlery and stuff like that but um i don't know if it will have a little toddler one so just packed her that one for ease and then i like to take these because i don't want to buy like a whole massive tub when we're away of hot chocolate because we're only there for a few nights so got some hot chocolate so we can have that like in the evening tea bags because i absolutely love a cup of tea any time of day so take them with us and then a few weetabix just in case elsie fancies them she changes her mind all the time about what she wants for breakfast so thought i'd just bring a couple just in case the park we're staying in is actually near a big lidl a tesco and a co-op so we will be going on the friday and stocking up on food for the caravan but little things like that i like to take because i'm not going to buy like big boxes of tea bags and wheat bits and things like that when we need a few so yeah that's the reason why i'm packing them with us i will also probably be taking a little thing of washing up liquid because like i said i don't want to buy a massive one um, and I think that's everything we're going to need in like food wise. I'm also going to be taking this big bag is I use this for like our swim bag or for the beach. It's a really good size and I can just shove everything in and it's easy to go through the washer. I've got that for when we go to the beach or swimming. And then I've just got this little pouch, which is like a waterproof little pouch. And I'll just put our um, wet swimwear in there so it doesn't make the bag and like everything in there soaking wet. So I'm going to be taking those as well. I will also be packing towels because the caravan doesn't come with towels so we have got one each for all of us these are just from primark and they're just like little beach towels but they're perfect and they're super inexpensive so i'm just packing those these are the ones that we always take on holiday so like i said you have got one each for all of us elsie would like to show you her bits that she's taking away with her what are you taking baby that's good isn't it i'm being glowed wow Second thing I you me is that the pink door where we goggle. The second thing I'm bringing is the big game. And the second thing I'm bringing is the card game. And the second thing is the back card game. Lovely. Thank you for showing us. So this is what I'm taking our toiletries in. This is just a little bag from Soap and Glory. I got this in a Christmas gift set and it's a really decent size and I love taking this away for like any holiday with all our toiletries in. So in here I've got some sun cream, Elsie shampoo and bubble bath, some face cloths and some flannels. I've got some um, hair bands in there and hair clips. Toothbrushes, we usually use like an automatic, not an automatic, an electric one at home. But I like to just take these kind of... Um, disposable ones away when we go on holiday it's so much easier and then what else have I got in here I've also got to pack shampoo conditioner bubble bath and deodorant which I will do in the morning and toothpaste so yeah they're the last bits that I'll put in there tomorrow morning but yeah everything contains really nice in there and it's all together and then it's not going to leak everywhere and all over the suitcases so that's the toiletry bits all packed but these are Taya and Tiana's bits. They pack their own stuff. So it's great having teenagers now because I don't have to worry about sorting stuff out for them. But like I said, we've each got our own packing cubes or the kids have. Um, and Taya's got this leopard printy one. 
Chandler's got the navy blue one and else has got the bright blue so they can identify their stuff and it's so much easier on the other end so Taylor's got all her clothes and swimwear underwear same with Tiana there and then they've just got a jumper each so yeah they're all good to go now I'm going to show you the bits that I'm going to be taking for myself so this is everything that I'm taking for myself as you can see it's very samey samey very black white and denim I like to do this when I go away for a UK staycation. I don't know what it is, just the way my brain works and it like, I don't know, it really helps me. But I like to have everything in the same sort of colours because then I can kind of mix and match everything. Like I said, don't know what the weather's like in the UK. So if I have options that I can mix and match like different tops with different jeans or shorts, sweatshirts, just makes my life a whole lot easier. So it's very neutral, but it works for me. So starting off over here, I've got one pair of mum jeans and then a, a basic black vest top. These are like my staple go-to jeans. They go with absolutely everything. They're so comfy to wear. Absolutely love them. I've got myself a summer dress because I'm hoping that we have some sun. So just got a little summer dress. And then I've got some denim shorts with a little black bodysuit. I've packed one sweatshirt for myself. I will also be taking, um, like I'll be wearing a blazer, which is like a black and white one which can go with pretty much everything that I've packed. I've got more of a dressier dress. So this is like a tea dress. So I'm going to be packing that probably for an evening. Got some black skinny jeans and this little white blouse. That's probably going to be for an evening as well. But I can also wear the jeans during the day if it's colder. Got one swimsuit, like I said, because we will be going swimming. Uh, two pairs of pyjamas, like one pair of pyjamas and then an oversized t-shirt. I'm also going to be packing my little like rain mac packer mac thing. This is really small and yeah, we might have rain. So I need to pack that. I'm just going to be taking two pairs of shoes, just basic black flip flops, 90p flip flops, which I live in during the summer months. And then like a dressier pair of sandals, mainly like for the evenings. And then I will also be wearing my trainers down there. So I've got that option as well. And then just this little bag for the evening so I can put like my phone and things like that in so that's everything I'm taking for myself like I said it's very samey samey very matchy matchy but it works okay I'm a little bit worried because I've got to try and fit I'll turn you around and show you all of this into this case so it's quite a big case and it's like double-sided but I just got to try and fit all of this in plus I've still got to pack straighteners in the morning makeup some more little toiletry bits and yeah like charges and things do we think it's all gonna fit in here like oh right i'm gonna get on and see how well i can get all this in there wish me luck Okay, so I managed to get it all in. It is jam-packed and there's a little bit of room to put the last little bits in. So it should be absolutely fine. It's really going to weigh an absolute ton. But like I said, we're only travelling by train. So that should be fine. Um, the only reason I'm taking one big suitcase instead of loads of bags is because we're going by train. I thought it would be easier just to have it all together. And then we're not worried about like losing bags, leaving stuff behind. It's just all contained, all in one. So yeah, hopefully this should be okay. So that's us all packed and ready to go. Like I said, there's a few more little bits to add in the morning that I can't put in now, like toothpaste, um, deodorant, makeup, perfumes, things like that. So they'll be going in in the morning and um, like phone charges and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. Like I said, I'm vlogging our weekend away. So if that's something you'd like to see, don't forget to subscribe and put the bell on so you don't miss that. And I will see you all in our next video, which will be our vlogs.